place today, God. Move upon
God. Oh God, yes, there is a sweet anointing in this sanctuary. All the presence of the Lord is in this house. Hallelujah. 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 House of the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to have a place to come in and be in the presence of the Lord and lay down those burdens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's continue to sing unto the Lord tonight. Amen. Let's lift our voices.
Praise God. I'd like to run. But Amen. 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 One day I will again. Amen. It is good to be here. Amen. Amen. This is home. Amen. Yes. Praise I don't God. care where your house is or where your family lives. The church is home. Amen. 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 And until you've had to be away for a while, sometimes mm. you, you take it for granted because it's so right. good all the time. Mm. This is home. Amen. You, know, you can watch, and I, and I watch on the uh, monitor, and I was like, it's great. And it's good to see it. Right. There are a few mm. faces that you can see, but it's Amen. not home. It's right. not there yet, and until I get there, it's Amen. not home. Amen. And I, I am so grateful for what God has done. Praise Amen. God. His mercy is everlasting. Amen. Come on. Lord, he is just blessed for me. Jesus. He has encouraged me and helped me. And in Jesus. times when we can't enjoy it like we want to, Amen. he's still there. And Amen. He's still Amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's stand. Continue to worship the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is great.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is great. And greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. And he will be magnified. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to be there to do it. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're going to take our evening offering. Wednesday night offering. Lord, thank you for this night. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to be in your house again, God. Lord, thank you for your presence. I ask you that you would continue to bless us throughout the service, Lord. Lord, that you would bless us, offering, Lord, the gift and the giver, those that have and those that have not. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to reach out to the Lord as we.
Jury, if you're convinced it's a good decision you made, why don't you lift your hands and worship the Lord today? Lord, I love you, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for the decision, God, to follow you. Hallelujah, thank you, God, that it's always been a blessing, Lord. Hallelujah, it's always been a good thing in my life, God. Hallelujah, it's always been right, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I've decided to follow Jesus. Amen. Don't turn it back. Amen. Glad that you have decided to follow him today. Amen. And uh, what a good decision that is, the decision to follow him. Amen. Praise God. If we can turn to the book of Psalms, we're going to read from the word of God, Psalms 139. Psalm 139, we're going to read verse number one. And as we go along here, going to cover several verses of Psalm 139, Lord willing. Uh, I'm glad to have the opportunity to live for God today. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 What a great time it is to be able to live for God. Amen. Uh, I was talking to Brother Brad last night at prayer and uh, we were talking about uh, things that were happening and uh, and with all this going on uh, let it be known in your life let it be known in your mind that you were chosen Amen. for right. such a time as this right. Amen. 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 We, Amen. we are not here by accident at this time Lord, in history but we are strategically Place Amen. by the hand of God. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. And I thank God for the opportunity yes. to live in the yes. time I live in. Yes. Psalms 139, verse number 1. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your blessing. Thank you, God, for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you, God, for the opportunity that we have to live for you. God, I ask God for you to quicken my mind today. I ask God that you, God, allow me to express thoughts, God, that would be uh, direct from you, Lord. Let the presence of your spirit move upon my life. But, let your power touch my soul, God. Let your spirit move upon my heart. God, move upon every person in this place tonight. Let your spirit work in every life, God. Help us, God. Help us, God, to understand, God, how closely that you are with us, God. Help us to understand. Let your anointing be upon me. Let your anointing be upon the people in this place. And God will praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. You may be amen. seated. Hallelujah. Scripture that we read today said, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. And uh, I'm so glad today to understand and to know that, that I was not an afterthought right, right. in God's mind. Right. Amen. Amen. And you were not an afterthought in God's mind. Right. But the Bible says in this whole uh, this whole psalm goes along that theme. The Bible says that he has searched us mm -hmm. and he has known us. Yes. Amen. Amen. He knows us very, very intimately. In fact, right. God knows us better than we know ourselves. Right. Right. That's right. Our heart sometimes can be deceitful 
Our emotions can certainly lead us astray, no doubt about that. Our logic can become flawed and we can think that it is perfectly logical what we're doing and where we are and what our situation is. And it's so flawed. But God never, never has those problems with us. He knows us. He knows us. And in the world we're living in, in this world of COVID-19 and shelter in place, and this world of curfews, and this world of, of up, uprisings and unrest, right, right. I don't know about you today, but it's just a good thing for me to know that God knows Amen. me. Amen. Yes. He knows yes. me. Amen. He searched Amen. me. Yes. Amen. And... Uh, we need to realize that God, as it says in verse number two, knows our downsetting and our uprising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just know us in the fact of knowing us uh, so well that he's pretty sure that we're getting ready to say something or do something. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes you can get to know a person so well. Right. Maybe a spouse, or right. uh, where that a spouse can actually finish sentences right. for you, <laughs> and is right most of the time, <laughs> but not all the time, <laughs> because they know you and they know about you. Right. But the knowledge of God oh. in our lives, oh. the Bible says He knows my He knows when I sit down. Yeah. And he knows when I get up. Mm -hmm. And he understands my thought. Mm -hmm. There's times that I don't understand my thoughts. Right, right. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> There's times I look myself in the mirror and say, why did I do that? Mm -hmm. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But God knows our thought yes, he does. from afar off. He knows us so well that he's not just trying to say, well, by the way they're acting right now, I can identify what they're thinking and what they're... no, he knows what right. we're thinking. Right, right. He knows when we sit down, when we stand up. Right. He knows everything about us. The Bible says in verse number three, Thou compasseth my paths by lying down and are acquainted with all of my ways. Mm -hmm. It ties in with verse number five. And we'll go back to verse number four in a minute. But it says, Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Thou compasseth my path. And then skip down to verse number five. Thou hast beset me behind me and before me. He says, he says that God, I understand. David says that God, I understand that where I was, you were there. Right. Right. God, I understand that you can pass my path. Right. That God, whenever I was there, that you were there. And when I get where I'm going to go, you're going to be there. And when I think what I'm going to think, uh, God, you're going to already know what's getting ready to come out of my mind, mouth or what actions I might be ready to take uh, because you know so much about me. Hear me today, church. God is omniscient. He is omniscient. And he knows us so well. Compasseth my path. He beset me behind and before. And then going back to verse number three, he compasses my path and my lying down. When you lay down at night mm -hmm. and you're getting ready to go to sleep God knows the most secret and private thought mm -hmm. 
of right. our lives. That's right. He knows. But no one else does. Yes, he does. He's aware of every thought, good mm -hmm. and bad. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in verse number three, he's acquainted with all my ways. Mm -hmm. God's acquainted with all of my ways. Yes, amen. David is amazed, is amazed at all the things that God has done. Verse number four says, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Before I speak the words I'm getting ready to speak, God knows what I'm getting ready to say. Amen. Amen. He knows what I'm getting ready to say. Uh, even when someone else might be surprised at it, God is never surprised. David... David said in verse number six, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain unto it. He says, I don't understand how you can do it, God. It's beyond what I understand. And God knows David is saying, I don't understand how you understand. I don't understand what you can comprehend. The Bible teaches us that God is not only omniscient, but He's omnipotent. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And He is there wherever we are. Mm -hmm. He, you can't get away from God. That's right. There are people that try to get away from God. There are people that try to hide from God. There are people that try to say, well, you know, nobody is ever going to know anything about this. God is going to know. Yeah, yeah. And you can run, and there's people not living for God right now right. Mm. that are running from God. Right. Mm. They are running from God. But you can't hide. Right. Verse number 7 says, Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? Mm -hmm. God, I haven't found a place I can go. And I can assure you, when you look at David's life, there are times in his life, there were times in his life that he definitely wanted to go someplace to hide. As he stood before the man of God and heard a little story about a man that owned one sheep and a man that owned many. And he got so angry. Mm -hmm. And pronounced judgment upon this man that had many sheep that took his neighbors one sheep, one lamb. Mm -hmm. And pronounced judgment on him. Mm -hmm. And the man of God looked him in the eye and said, Thou art mm -hmm. the man. Mm -hmm. And David was crushed. Because he realized that all of his jockeying for position mm -hmm. and all of his working to try to cover up that which was repugnant even to him, he realized that God knew all the time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to stop here and say, if you have something in your life, that you have been trying to hide from God. If you have a secret sin. It's not time to say. Well I'm going to try to cover this. And, and it's not time to say. I'm going to try to make sure that. That no one ever finds out. But it's time to go to the throne of God. It's time to, time to find an altar. It's time to say. God would you forgive me. I know you know already. I know you know already God. Would you forgive me God. fascinating to me that no matter what we ask for in blessings of God, God knows already right. what we're going to ask for right. and what we need. Right. He knows what we need, He knows what we want, right. and He knows what we're going to ask for. Right. 
I believe that God did that to help us with our communication skills with Him. Mm -hmm. let, let me ask the question, how many of us would go how much longer if we never if we never had the occasion to ask God for something. Come on. For part of our relationship with Him is acknowledging God, right. I know you're here. Right. And I know you know. Right. But God, let me tell you about it a little bit. Right. Let me tell you about it a little bit, God. I want to explain a little bit how that I see it and how that I feel about it. And what I'm thinking about and, and my desires and my hungers and, and my thirst, God. I want to explain how that, that is so important to me. And God, I know you know all about it before I start to talk and before I start to pray. Right. So let me tell you. Yes. And so we start to talk to him. And God starts to communicate back with us. Right. And in the midst of troubles and trials, in the midst of riots mm -hmm. and turmoil, God assures us, yes. I know yes. where oh, you are. Yes. And I know what you're thinking about. I know what you're thinking about. I know yes. what your fears yes. are. Yes. I know what your fears are. Yes. Go ahead and just talk to me about them. Let your spirit reach out to mine and let us connect here that we can have a communication with me. Amen. Amen. David said, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. I, I cannot understand it. He says, whether shall I go from thy presence? Or from thy spirit. Whether shall I flee from thy presence? Mm -hmm. If I ascend up to heaven. Right. Thou art there. Right. If I make my bed in hell. Right. Behold. Mm -hmm. Thou art there. Right. Mm. God is. Omniscient. He's omnipotent. Mm -hmm. He's everywhere. Yes, amen. And David said, If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, mm -hmm. even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Amen. You see, God is not only there. He's not only there. Right. And I'm so thankful that he's there. Yes. And that's a shouting point, just yes. saying God's yes. always there. Yes. That's, a, that's a wonderful yes. thing, just, just to make the statement that God, yes. you know my, you, oh. you know what's yes. behind me, you know what's yes. in front of me, you know my downsetting, and you know my uprising, right. and, and you can pass my path, yes. and so on and so forth. That's all shouting points. Yes. But that's not all there is to the story. Oh. It says, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall Oh, Amen. Amen. You're going to lead me. You're going to hold me. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be a light about me. Try to hide in the darkness. In the darkness of sin. In the darkness of discouragement. Try to hide in the darkness of depression. But the Bible says even in the darkness, the night shall be a light about me. It will be as if it was daytime. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth. See what it says? The night shineth as the day, and the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Mm -hmm. You think it gets so, so dark. Right. No matter how dark it gets, no matter how dark it's going to get, 
The Bible says the darkness and the light are both the light to God. They're the yes. same. They're the same. God can move and work in any kind of situation. He is able to take care of us and to, to have his hand lead us and his right hand Amen. hold us. Amen. For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me from my mother's womb. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and my soul knoweth right well. And so David is saying that you knew me from the womb. You knew me when I was before I was born. Right. You knew me. He said, you made me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And, and he talks about uh, how awesome it is that God creates a, Humanity, and he says, "My, I know thy works, and and my soul knoweth it quite well." And and then he says, in verse fifteen, "My substance was not hid from thee." Mm. Mm. When I was made in secret mm. and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, notice right here in verse sixteen. Thine eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect. Mm -hmm. Which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. What's that saying? Mm -hmm. That's saying not only did you know me from my mother's womb, but before I was ever started to be right. formed. All right, moms. Before I ever started to grow. Mom. And become that miracle child. Right. You had a plan for me. You yeah. knew yeah. me. Yeah. You were aware of my life. My substance was not hid from thee. Uh, thine eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect. And which you were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. And then so David talks about all of these things that God is and what God does and the magnificence of God. And he says in verse 17, Oh, how precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! God, your thoughts are so many. The, you can add them up and the sum is beyond my understanding. I can't count them. In fact, the Bible says in verse number 18, if I should count them, there are more than the number than the sand. Right. I can start to count and it's like trying to count the grains of sand. Right. And it's comparable to your thoughts. To me. That's not the thoughts of God to all humanity. Right. Think about that. That's not God's thoughts to all humanity that are like beyond a, the number of the grains of sand. But he's talking about, David's wow. talking about to me. Mm -hmm. To one individual. David's saying, to one individual, your thoughts of me wow. exceed yeah. anything I could ever Come count. On. Come on. Good. It exceeds anything that I can. Have. There, there, there's so much in number that when I awake, I'm still with thee. And, oh, yeah. and David says, David says, uh, it's beyond my understanding. It's yeah. beyond yeah. my expectation. It's beyond yeah. what I can 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 comprehend. God, this about your thoughts of me, yeah. your thoughts of me, and I want to tell you, God's thoughts of you are always thoughts of your salvation. They're always thoughts of your blessing in his life, in your life. Amen. 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 How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the same. Mm -hmm. When I awake, I am still with thee. 
And so, God is thinking of you. I don't know all the things that God does. No one does. Elder Price, great elder from California, used to say he believed that God was still creating worlds and universes. He said because that's what God does, that God's a creator. I don't know if he's doing that or not. But this one thing I do know, that whatever he's doing, he's never too busy to be thinking about me. It doesn't matter what he's doing. It doesn't matter what's going on in heaven. It doesn't matter what kind of stuff is being an uproar in the world. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, uh, debauchery the devil is trying to stir up in lives. And, and, man, and this one thing I know, that no matter what any of that is going on, that God is thinking about me. Amen. God is thinking about you today. Let's give him a hand clap of praise today. Psalms 139 and verse 23 ends like this. Search me, O God, right. and know my heart. Right. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Lead me in the way everlasting. Right. Amen. I can always have confidence in God that He's never going to lead me wrong. Amen. If I get messed up, if I make a wrong turn, it's not because God led me there. No. It's not because He taught, took, brought me and took me into paths of unrighteousness. No. It's because I strayed from His hand Amen. that led me. Can we stand today? We could have the musicians come. I would like to sing a chorus and finish this tonight. But it gives me great comfort to know that He knows my thoughts. And He is thinking of me. And He knew me from the womb and before. I serve a great God today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then we give thanks to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, that you're everywhere. Thank you, God, that you see us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that you are moving through our lives. Thank you, God, that you are stirring our hearts. Lord, I love you, Lord, I praise you. I magnify you, God. I glorify you.
opportunity to live for you. Thank you, God, for allowing us to live in this time we're living. Help us, God, to carry out your mission. Help us to carry out your mission, God. Help us to know that you're always there beside us and with us. And God, it will be easier to carry out our mission if we remember that. Let the presence of your spirit touch us, God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be upon us. I pray right now in 
in the name of Jesus that your spirit would cover and envelop every person in this place. I pray right now that your power would move upon every life. I pray right now that your spirit would move upon every person, God, that's listening to this and give them courage and give them strength. Give them peace, God. I pray, God, that you give peace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.